Um, might take the clock. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I need any of these here. Oh, do I need a fish bone? Hmm. What time should it be? Like... I suppose this works. Hmm, let's see. No, no, please don't quit the game. That was not what I wanted to do. Jana doesn't seem to be home. Hmm. I'd better not mess with Shana's armchair. She might curse me with a blue pox if I do. Hmm. Is there any indication as to what time I need to? It would take hours to read them all. Anything more in this house that can give me a clue? I don't think so. So, is there anything? Can I get up here? No, I can't by the looks of it. That's just weird. Alright, let's have a new look at the clock then. A blue box is apparently a illness that is happening around the kingdom. Alright, let's try to move around the minute hand. We have to release it before it works. Like, is there a... Hmm... Is there anywhere I can... Click? Well, let's... Try it. No, oh, no, I don't want to use this. Oh, uh, let me get the minute hand. Any clue as to where? I'm looking at these notes on the sides as well because I can't see. There's nothing I can click on, so... Did the game ever meant notice something about a certain time? Not that I know of, Green Dragon. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Which is very infuriating because I would love to know what time it should be. Also, do I need, like, to step back? That's the big question, because I don't see anything... Like, there's no button whatsoever. Indicating that I, you know, should step back before something happens. So I probably wouldn't even know if I touched the right... Can I... Oh, we have to press the middle. Alright, let's try again then. No, please go back to 12, and I need my minute hand. Is it 12 o'clock? No. No. This is gonna take... Well, did did do something. But I don't think it's correct. Uh, let's try something else. And, like... If we put it halfway then? Ooh. 
Well, there was someone there, I think. Can I... No, wrong button again. Shana doesn't seem to be home. Well, I thought I saw her there. Did you, did you see that as well? Maybe I should go to a later time, like, go to all of them? Because it did something... It did something here. Hmm... Now I'm curious, what am I supposed to do here? I think she's in the armchair, the green dragon. I think she's in the armchair. And if I move this one over here... I feel... I have a feeling I'm missing something. Like, let's try it again. Because it did do something. Do I have to immediately click on her or something like that? It, it might just be. Let's just... Press it again. Hmm. Maybe going where the light is. That might be an idea. Let's try that. Hmm. Can I step into the light? Hello? Shana? Uh... No, that's not working. Can I... Like, touch it? I'd better not mess with Shauna's armchair. She might curse me with a blue pox if I do. Hmm. Maybe open the door? Is that an option? Well, I, I, I don't think so. No, I don't want to leave. I, I still have to do something with this clock, I think. Alright, let's try it with you back on there. It moves up or something? Can you... Bot is not interested in clocks. It's always lunchtime for him. Can you sit in the armchair? Don't you dare scratch the cover of the armchair. Don't look at me so dim-witted. I don't fall for that anymore. Um, and if I make him small again? Can he sit in the don't armchair? Don't you dare scratch the cover of the armchair. Don't look at me so dim-witted. I don't fall for that anymore. Hmm... I have a feeling I'm, like, missing this, like, huge clue. Look, there, there should be light here. Like, it's always shining. Oh! It's... Now the light shines onto this note here. It reads... The colors come back into the world. Huh? Hmm. Does, like, the other time point to another note? Uh, let me see. If I get you there, it points to that note. Uh, let's see. Light shines directly onto this note. Could that be a coincidence? Can I take the note? That is again not the right button. Now the light shines onto this note here. Do a sleeping giant a favor. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Oh, we do have Bruno at our home. Hmm. Alright, so we know 12.15 
12.30, the note something about calling me the world and something about doing a giant something a favor. So, you know what, let's go back home. We did have... Uh, Bruno needs to be washed anyway. Uh, you're completely right, Green Dragon. This puzzle is confusing. Um, let's go home. Because I know Bruno needs to be washed at some point. And this might be what the note is telling me to do. Uh, let's go back to the circus then. And let's... Wash Bruno? Don't mess with Bruno, unlike you. He's already done his work for today. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know something. So this uh, green dragon is something you can't see because we do have a note with a list of chores that needs to be done. It's over here. However, there is some bug in the game that I can't probably see the note, so I have to pull it up on my phone every single time I want to look at the note. So watch Bruno is at 12.15, which we did. So then, maybe at that time was the other note, so maybe the whole clue is in the notes. So I should probably compare my note to the notes that are in here. I think I've finally found... What's going on? So I have to... I'll we'll probably insert the note into... When I edit this video, I'll probably put the note in here. So Bruno needs to be washed at... There's a note here, right. Okay, so Bruno needs to be washed at 12.15. Um, so we've got 12.15. Which is this time. And then it went back to... Like... Here? No, wrong button again. I keep passing up the buttons with this game. It's kind of confusing, but that's okay. Light shines directly under this note. Could that be a coincidence? Uh, can I read the note then, please? Now the light shines onto this note here. It reads, the colors come back into the world. Huh? Oh, and at 5.30 we had watched the sunrise. So that might be, like, at 5 o'clock is get up. 5.30 is watch the sunrise. 7 o'clock is feed spot. 7.30 is look for an audience. 10 o'clock is rehearse the human cannibal act. Then 12.15 is watch Bruno. 9.30 in the after in the evening is clean up the trailer. I think it's supposed to be something else. And then 7 o'clock in the evening, Spectre's stay burping alphabet and uh, 9.30 in the evening is bedtime. So let's see, colors back into the world should be the morning, if you ask me. Right? So that's at 5.30, so... Yeah, it's the list of chores our very lovely brother Ben gave us. He, he's not really nice to us, so I don't mind, like, being anywhere but the circus at this moment. So let's try. Call us back into the world. Is that equal to sunrise? It does do something. I think we finally got the hang of this puzzle. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> Who summoned me? Oh, that... that was me. Actually, he shall approach. I see only a child in the costume of a clown. I'm a carny. The carny is lost. My name is Shadwick, and I'm not lost. I'm looking for Shana. I am Shana. Yeah, I, I already figured that. So. He's able to use his brain, then. And yet he's here, where he doesn't belong. He may speak, for the time being. What does he want from Shana? Who sent him? And welcome, old friend, many scientists, to today's stream. Um, uh, it, it's really infuriating that I finally got a hang of this puzzle, and then it's like, you solved the puzzle, and I'm like, I just got a hang of it, really? Alright, so, a chess girl 
Bobby sent me here. Well, that's kind of true. Not really true because we wanted to get here as well. But he sent me, all right? So that's, I think, what we want to be... Well... <sighs> Nobody sent me. I work on my own behalf. I think that's more... Rings more truth than Bobby sent me. Because I am having these nightmares. I'm having these supposing visions, something that looks like that. So, I think saying that I came on my own behalf is probably the rings the most truth. I mean, she's a sis. You should probably see through my bullshit if I ever speak any. Nobody sent me. I work on my own behalf. Is that so? The clown says he works on his own behalf. But exactly what it is that he is working on, he doesn't tell. Does he even know? Hmm. That's a good question. I guess I want to do something useful with my life instead of playing the clown. Every night, I dream about the end of the world. I don't want to be a hopeless bystander. He wants a meaningful task. He believes that it would give him satisfaction. He is mistaken. You can't know that. You never even heard me out about my dream. And I shall not. If this is the only reason the clown has come here, he shall leave now. Wait, there's another reason. So, a Chesky Bobby sent me. Apparently we have to go through all these things. A uh, Chesky called Bobby sent me. The clown speaks words of nonsense. The path of the Chesky is a dangerous one. No Chasky would be so negligent of his honor as to abuse a useless child for his own purposes. Maybe I'm not as useless as I look. <laughs> he doubts the truth of his own words. How useful does he think he is? Well, it's true that I drop things quite frequently. I'm also not as strong and athletic as my brother. To be honest, there's nothing he couldn't do better than me, but... Enough! I've heard sufficient evidence. If this Chasky really exists, I want to talk to him in person. Why doesn't he come himself, instead of sending a useless child? So, he was attacked by the Eskil, which is probably true. We are not really sure. But also, he told me you can interpret dreams, which is rather important because we're having these nightmares yet again. So, let's go for the other option. He told me you can interpret dreams. The Chasky neglected to give him an important piece of information. Shana only interprets dreams for important persons, not for clowns. So... My dreams are meaningful too. That's entirely true, especially if they predict the end of the world, won't you think? My dreams are meaningful too. He is not in the position to decide that. All right, then you tell me if they mean anything. After all, you're the expert, right? I am an oracle. I see things before they happen. I do not see me giving comfort to a clown that slept badly. So, I'm not leaving before you interpreted my dream is a very nice thing to say. Also, I completely agree with you, the green dragon. This character is obnoxious. She was hit a little bit too hard on the head as a child, I think. I'm not leaving before you've interpreted my dream. Then he can expect it to be a long day. The clown has to be careful. The thing he is waiting for will not happen. There is hardly a greater torture. Alright, so then let's tell a little white lie. Bend the truth around a little bit. I didn't come here as a clown. I'm helping Bobby carry out his mission. He even entrusted me with a Whispering Stone. What does he say now? The Whispering Stone is with us in the Autumn Forest. He shall show it to Shana. Well, I don't exactly have it on me right now. Miserable fool! The Whispering Stone is an important and powerful object. It shall be returned to the palace at once. So, what happens if the Whispering Stone is not taken to Corona? What will happen if the Whispering Stone is not taken to Corona? The Whispering Stone is a powerful object. You said that already. While the Whispering Stone is not in its place in the Royal Palace, the equilibrium of the world is disturbed. This world will end. Like in my dream. 
The clown has dreamed of the end of the world. It was not a dream then. It was a vision. That... That's what I was trying to tell you the whole time. There are but a few people who can see doom in their dreams. I must discover more. I sense there is a mighty prophecy in this dream. So you're going to tell me what it means, right? Yes, but he won't be pleased. Is that part of the prophecy? Juggling with supernatural powers is not a circus act. He will hear things that were never meant for human ears. I hear Ben snoring every night. I don't shock easily anymore. The clown believes he cannot be shocked anymore. He is a fool. What gave me away? The baubles? He does not take Shauna seriously. It might be a mistake to reveal his fate to him. No, no. I'll be quiet already. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Please go on. Very well. He shall give a full account of the details of his dream. Well... First, there is this rocky landscape. Everything is destroyed. I run as fast as I can, and then the rocks under my feet give way. Then, all of a sudden, I notice a blue light, and... Well, seems she, um, sh she looks shocked. Hello? Shine? Or she's having a vision. Shana, you... Uh, all of a sudden, you seem to be... Uh, I don't know. Tent. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Flashy eyes and everything. Kind of weird, but... Okay. She might be dying. Enough of that. This is getting way too spooky already. Uh, Shana? Could you please kindly... Sad wake! This world is about to meet its end. Like the world in your dream, this one too will crumble. You, Sadwick, hold the fate of the world in your hands. Oh, okay. You will be the one who dooms this world. What? It is your fate to destroy this world. What? No, no, hold it.